So we have this baseline state, this imagined scenario of what would I do if I had no problems? However we want to enjoy life, whatever we want to do with life, if we didn't have to have solve the problems that, that crop up along the way. And for me, I like to imagine walking in the forest, listening to the birds, observing the sunrises, sunsets, the stars, just enjoying the universe, enjoying being alive. And so whatever that state is, between us and that state is a whole lineup of problems. There's a whole big box of problems that we have. Besides the daily problems that come up repeatedly forever, sleeping, eating, cleaning, we, you know, maintaining things that break down, those things will always keep coming up. And then there's the problems of, well, how do we pay for this and that? And how do I deal with my own difficulties inside myself of being able to manage my own feelings, my own behavior, having self-command, discipline, being able to do what I want to do and guide myself and all these problems. And we have them standing in the way uh, of us and what we want. So what better way to spend a day than to clear off some of those problems? Imagine, imagine that you have this system where, uh, of problems where there's a flow out of the system and that's when problems are being solved. You solve, you cross it off the list. And, or maybe for whatever reason, it's not a problem anymore. Um, or we just remove that from the list. So we have the, we, we, we want to bring the level down. It's like a tank full of problems. We want to bring that level down by just like flowing out, just like crossing out solution, solution, fix that. Sometimes it's like directly solving the exact problem as we imagine it. But sometimes it's reimagining the problem that we say, okay, we, we saw this as a big problem, but actually we can look at it in a, in a different way and, or we can, you know, use some kind of other creative way maybe to solve it. And we can use a lot of, a lot of creativity, I think, and solving problems creatively is one of the great human abilities. So what it means to solve a problem can be so many things. Just whatever it takes to overcome that barrier, make the barrier go away or transform into something else. So we're bringing down the level of that tank of problems by, by solving these problems. And then there's like a tap, bringing in new problems. Every day we have more, there's new things showing up. And some of those things will, will always be there. Uh, just from being alive, we have these recurrent things we have to deal with. Okay, how do we eat and how do we take care of this and that and solve that? That thing breaks down and, you know, we need to help our, our, our friends and family and these things will keep coming. But it seems like we also let in a lot of other problems. We have a big tap of problems that we're just allowing to flow into this tank of problems that we have. So no matter how much we solve, it, it often feels like the tank level is always going up. We're always getting more and more problems, no matter how hard we work to solve them. And that's where I think we can really focus on this, this input of problems, this incoming flow. Where do our problems come from? I mean, we have these required problems of living, basic maintenance, like eating every day. We have the problems that come from the people around us that, you know, that we choose to support and helping, their, helping them deal with their problems. What else do we need to deal with? It seems like there's a lot of room to, to simplify that input side of things, what's coming in to our, our problem tank. And that's why I love the spirit of minimalism and simple living, that by keeping things simple, we can turn down that tap of incoming problems as much as possible. And if we can do that, 
maybe we really can see the level of that problem tank go down as we just we keep solving these problems and we let fewer and fewer in. So I wonder what is what are the problems that we need to deal with? What what do we need to let in? What do we need to solve? And what are the problems that we can simply not take on, simply ignore, simply not deal with? Simply not even see them as problems. They're just they're just not relevant. Where how can we turn down that tap of incoming problems?